Hi everyone, so this is the first vid for lesson four. And it's all about <laughs> nested normals and binomials. So jumping around between binomial and normal. So it says an IQ test is applied to a population of adults. The scores X on the test are found to be normally distributed. <coughs> so an average of 100 and standard deviation of 15. So adult scoring more than 140 are classed as genius. So part A, find the probability that an adult chosen at random which is his genius. So I want the probability that X is greater than 140. So the distribution I was using is there, isn't it? 100 comma 15 squared. So for this, because it's greater than 140, my lower is 140, my upper 10,000, and then it's sigma first, isn't it? Let's have a quick double check. Let's have a look on the calculator, wherever it's gone. <coughs> uh, what we have? Distribution, normal, uh, NCD. So we've got lower, upper, sigma, and mu. So lower is 140, upper 10,000, sigma we said was 15, mu is 100. So if you want to draw a nice little pretty picture, or not, whoops, couldn't press it. <laughs> there, it gives you the top end really, really high up with a really, really small probability. Uh, so sigma is 15, mu is 100. And that's 0.00383. So that bit's okay. That's fine. So part B then, part B says 20 adults take the test. So now it's become discrete because I've got 20 adults taking the test. Find the probability that two or more of them are classed as genius. So this now is my success for the binomial. So I'll have another distribution, but this time it's binomial. I've got 20 people doing it, and the probability that they're a genius is 0.00383. Now I want the probability that two or more, so the probability that y is greater than or equal to two. So this, so that was before it was an NCD, so this is a BCD. So with my lower of two, my upper of 20, my num trials is 20, and my p-value is 0.00383. So let's do that on the calc. <coughs> let's move it over a little bit so I can see my numbers. So press exit, exit. I don't like the way you have to go back into this. Go back. So that's a B, C, D. Lower is 2. Upper 20. Num trials 20. 0.00383. Gives me 0.00266. There. there we go. Now there is a question for you to have a go at. So have a go at that one. I'll just reveal it for you. There. But be careful of the time, so on three hours. Three minutes, three hours. Might feel like three hours to you, but it's only three minutes. Oops. Right, so. It just, this just asks you to work out those probabilities. So you can do that straight away. Because it gives you that. And you should do a BPD for the first one with 4 on. That's 0 0.205. And a BCD with 0 to 4. And it's 0 0.377. So the idea with this is if it's continuous. So... Binomial's discrete, normal's continuous. So I can use, do this one using B, C, uh, N, C, D. And it gives me 0 0.952 from your calculator. And this one is always equal to zero. Yeah, but your problem is your calc will actually give you a value. But just remember, it's zero for this one. The reason your calculator gives you a value is because it integrates, finds the area. And you don't know what its boundaries are for 20. So it might be 19.99 to 20.001. I don't know. Right, time's running out. This is nearly done. So I'll see you later.